first, our entire family got really sick. I have been in a boot for probably three days now. She has to have a low bun for her part in the Nutcracker. Good morning, everybody. So, <laughs> I feel like every time I pick up the camera lately, I'm catching you up on new things. So, we've been in the process of packing and moving, which I thought I was gonna bring you along for a lot of that process. And then here's what happened. First, our entire family got really sick. Like, with a weird virus, and I may have touched on it a little bit. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, it started with Aspen getting sick. Yeah. And then the whole family ended up getting sick. So Aspen missed like the yeah. second and third week of swim team. Swim team. Um, he is going in tonight for his very first swim, uh, meet. swim meet. He was actually signed up for a swim meet. <coughs> um, and you can hear, I still have a bit of a cough. He was signed up for a swim meet in Maquoketa, and we ended up having to the Friday night before, so they're normally on Saturday, except this one is not that he's doing. This one's in the middle of the week. Um, but normally they are on Saturdays, and that Friday I called his coach, and I was like, or I sent her a text message, and I'm like, there's no way he's going to be able to come. Um, and then our whole family came down with this, like, not respiratory, it's, it's really like a super cold. Coughing, fever, chills. So we went in and we got tested. We tested negative for everything. And the doctor was like, I really wish I knew what this virus was that you have. So <coughs> it's been a matter of just treating it symptomatically. And uh, today is the first day that I'm not like continuously coughing. I had been, last night was really bad. I was coughing and coughing and coughing like, oh, it's just, it's been something else. So on top of it all, we've been trying to move and we've been moving loads here and there. And like everybody in the family has been pitching in on packing and moving and getting things here and there. So then... On top of getting sick, <laughs> we thought I broke my ankle. You so only sprained it. I did. I only yes. sprained it. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm going upstairs. All right, buddy. So I only sprained my ankle, but I have been in boot. So I've been in that boot for probably three days now. So I took Ireland to... She had a makeup class on Saturday, so to like learn to do stage makeup. We went to that and we were coming home. I had packed a bunch of stuff. I had just finished cleaning this hallway wall. Like I wiped down all the walls and the trim and stuff like that, trying to get everything cleaned up before we move out. Um, and I came home, I was coming in the doorway and the bottom step coming into our house is very short um, and I ended up hitting that just right and came down on my ankle and I, I heard it pop and I know you can probably hear more fire alarms <laughs> so that's one of the other things I'm doing throughout the house is going through changing fire alarms making sure all the batteries are changed I've got to do lights but that's a side note so as you're hearing those don't worry those are getting changed um, anyway so yeah I heard something pop. I ended up going up to the doctor. Um, they did an x-ray and she's like, oh, I see something on there that's kind of iffy, but we need to have the x-ray technician look at it, but they'll, they won't get to it today. So you'll find out on Monday. So I went all weekend thinking I had broke my ankle and come to find out it's just a really bad sprain. I did some soft tissue damage in there. Um, so I'm still currently walking around with the boot on. 
um, because it's made it easier to keep the ankle stabilized. And they said that I could go ahead and keep that on until my comfort level's a little bit better. So yeah, that's what it's been. It's just been one of those things. And as I fell outside, I'm like, and I heard it pop, I'm like, oh my. And I'm just like, no, I don't need this right now. Like, I don't have the time for this right now. So yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so that's what's been going on. And yeah, I just, I feel like every video lately has been catching you up to like these new things going on. But now that I know that my ankle's not broken and I'm not so afraid to put like weight on it because I wasn't sure what they were going to do with it things like that. Now I can be more mobile around the house and stuff. So today is Aspen's very first swim meet and he's definitely nervous about it. Um, we have Thanksgiving coming up. There's just, there's a ton going on and we're trying to get out of the house and move. So I'm going to go up to the boys room. I'm starting up and working my way down. Um, <coughs> I had pretty much most of Zane's side of the bedroom packed. So I think I'm gonna open some windows. It's been like gloomy in the house because all the stuff going on, I've just been, oh, uh, you know. Anyway. Anyway, so I'm gonna go up to the boys' room. I'm gonna get that finished today. Um, at least I'm hoping to get that finished today. And get all their walls wiped down, their trim wiped down, stuff like that. It is, it is a crazy disaster in our house. Um, because we're just, we're trying to get so much done and, um, we got Skylar partly moved into his new apartment. So I don't know how I've put these vlogs together. And, um, if I have not shown you his new apartment yet, I will pop that in here and you guys can see his new apartment. So yes, our oldest baby is moving out of the house. <sighs> and should be in his own he was going to be actually already be in his own place but his because he got an efficiency he bought himself a new um hide a bed couch and it's super nice and then he got a new desk for his place because the desk that he has is just too big um <coughs> so he was gonna move out sooner but his stuff won't be in until the very end of the month like the very last day of the month it'll be getting delivered so Anyway, so he'll be in his new place then, which he was like, well, I'm paying rent on it. You know, I'd like to be in it. But at the same time, it was more a matter of him paying it so that he could hold this particular apartment because he really liked that one. Um, the other one just was not as nice as the one that he moved into. So anyway, that is what's been going on with our family. That is a life update. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, be cheering Aspen on tonight. I'm actually going to be timing. So I think Braxton's going to come along to try to film it so that you guys can see his uh, very first swim meet. I'm going to go down and check my laundry. I have a load in there and he, I know he's going to need towels for tonight. So, and then maybe I'll go upstairs and get some packing done. Ugh. You guys, I cannot wait to finally get settled into our house and like have life getting back to normal. Everything has been so crazy. These last two weeks have just been they've been a trial. <laughs> I'll just say that. They have been a trial. So, Miss Ireland, we had to practice your bun today, mm -hmm. huh? So Look, hard. you guys, she has to have a low bun for her part in the Nutcracker because of the way her hat sits. Yeah, I get so. wear a beret. Oh, sorry. I'm coming. I have you scheduled around. to have professional pictures taken, too. Oh, you do? Uh-huh.
Thank you for your thinking, man. For the